clean up our profession. Well, I've got the state because part of lazy and part that, you know, I like my television programmes. So I sit in front of the television and the housework uh, suffers. The nation's dream cleaners are on a mission to buff up Britain. Cleaning queen Kim Woodburn and dirt detective Aggie McKenzie have been summoned to Sevenoaks for the very strange case of Georgina Taylor. Would you believe Georgina is a cleaner? She spends 45 hours a week cleaning, but not one second of that is spent on her own home. I think she's fantastic. I think um, she's really good. She always cleans all the floors. You know, she dusts between the books, and you know, I've got CDs that I've not used for for ages, and all of a sudden you pull them out, and there's still no dust on them. So, you know, she's quite thorough. There, Aggie. Oh, looks very neat. Well, it doesn't look too bad at all, does it? Oh, God, you can hardly God. get in here. Oh, this is just Ooh. about. Brought this along. Oh God! Pick it out. Get on, Aggie. What's that on that wall? It's like diarrhea to me. Oh! oh what the heck is that? Keep it away from me. No, I've got no. You know, I know what I'm like. <laughs> oh Christ! Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Lord. Oh, I'm breathing tears to your eyes. That smells oh, like the street God. of a thousand bums. You know, I'm not. No, no. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. It smells terrible. This is a home in desperate need of domestic help. Oh God! God. Kim, where are those pegs? It's like the school lab when they're doing the rotten leg experiment. That's right. It's really, what? really bad. Why? Well, it looks like dried in pee pee. I wonder if it'll scrape off. I don't know, Ag, so I don't like know. It's like scotch what... marks, actually. Oh, she was in a bit of a rush. <laughs> the bedroom is the stuff of nightmares, not dreams. This is the worst house I've been to. Yeah, I And we've been to some doozies. I think you're right. This is this a is deeply. Oh, she's had this somewhere. I wouldn't. She shouldn't have it. Where's the bedding? She sleeps on the mattress cover. Now you know when you think of a bed, breathless sighs, you know, wriggling on top, and eventually horizontal jogging. <laughs> you know, you get you know, people like, how could you? How could you? That a professional cleaner resides here defies comprehension. Look at the state of the surface uh, of see the that? cooker. That's total filth. I mean, Aggie, there is no... Oh, and oh, it's just like, isn't this... It's really but we've got to get, Look at the stuff we've got to take out before we can get to anything. Oh. Ag. Hey, oh! <coughs> Aggie, <coughs> Aggie, <coughs> look! Oh. And your tummy... Your tummy does the Boston two-step. It's time for this fallen cleaning angel to face the music. We've got a few things to say. I've never thing. seen, have you ever in your entire life, oh, vile. Here she comes now. Oh, Kim, she doesn't know what she's got coming to her. Hello, Georgina. Hello. My colleague, Aggie. And we've got Hello. one or two things to say to you, yes, haven't we, we have. Kim? I don't know if you're going to like it. We're going to say it anyway. Come, <laughs> let's get in there. Now, Georgina, we've come here today. I'm so shocked. I've never seen... I mean, with all the houses we've been to, you take the prize for the dirtiest, rottenest, oddest house. Why, lovey? Well, I work, you know, as a cleaner, you know, all day for about six, seven hours, I suppose, and come home. By the time I had something to eat and home, wash and what have you, it's about nine o'clock, and you don't want to clean the house again at nine o'clock, do you, you see? And that, that's how it goes. Let's not pull punches oh, it's here. It's dirty, all right? It's stinking, dear. Well, it's mm, I have it, yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. Your stove, lovey. I mean, oh. how can you be a cleaner... When your own house is vile. But I come home and think, well, I don't have to do my own. Nobody sees that, you see. So how do you organise your food in here? How do you eat? Well, I either uh, buy ready meals and put them in the microwave or the cooker. I have it on a tray and eat it here. Or I'll take something out to my twin, twin sister's house, which is just over the road, and cook it there. And then she can do the washing up. Oh, you've got a twin sister just across, across the, the road. Room. An identical twin. Identical twin, yeah. She, you know, she likes to keep her house nice and neat and tidy. And we're totally like chalk and cheese. I have once or twice to help to clean her house, yes. And uh, I've kept the spick and span, cleaned the cooker for her. Now, three months later on, it's back to square one again. I just, you know, I've despair. These doppelgangers' homes don't even deceive the untrained eye. Heather's is heavenly. Georgina's is slovenly. So who do you take after, then? 
I take it of my father. He was a great hoarder. He... Lovey, this is not hoarding. This is dreadful. It's this true. is past hoarding. Yes, I this should go in the Guinness Book of Records, Lovey. Another think... thing I can't help but notice, I nearly gagged. I'm sure you did. This sink. Yes, true. But Are you sure you're not conducting some sort of experiment? How long since you've cleaned this bath? And don't tell lies. I haven't really. No. What? Well, I like to take a bubble bath at night and. and, and mm, so do I. You know, I beg your pardon. You do, I do have You've to... got the nerve to get and put your bare bum on that dirty bath. Oh, come on, you're talking silly beggars. Get out. But before the cleaning can start, eight years of record breaking clutter must be boxed and bagged. It's not just the cat leaving this house. 25 boxes have to go before the true state of the grime can be revealed. Georgina's house appears to have sent Kim into a spin. Our cleaning team is astounded to learn that this grime offender is one of their own. This is the culprit. Very sorry. Sorry is not good enough. Get in. Sorry. Get in. Let the cleaning commence. Let's get into this uh, kitchen here. Let's have a discussion. Ags and I need to discuss this now, don't we? What is the plan of action, Rico? What are we doing? I think we should... We've got to clear this kitchen out first, haven't we? Normally, you start at the top of a house, but this is disgusting. We need to get to waters yes, to clean. Yes, you do. <laughs> so I'm going to kit you up with a nice white outfit and the various... Oh, very nice. And we're going to get stuck in, my dear. Prepare for some hard elbow grease and yep. no complaining. No, I'll try not right. to. I'm going to leave you to it, Aggie. Come along, my dear. As associate editor of Good Housekeeping, Aggie knows just how important hygiene is in the kitchen. Now, this kitchen falls way below any sort of acceptable standards as a place to prepare food that anybody's going to eat and hope to stay alive. So I'm going to take some swabs in here to send off to the lab to see exactly how bad it is. I'm surprised this woman's not permanently in hospital. She may be a cleaner, but Georgina needs some serious domestic help to right her wrongs in this house. It's back to cleaning college for this domestic delinquent, as our own cleaning queen shares a few oven basics. Now, I've just got washing up liquid a small amount in quite a lot of water, and I put two caps of bleach. And I think a lot of this is plain elbow grease, my dear. Mm -hmm. Look, you're a dirty devil. I like... Really, this is really thick grease and muck over the years, isn't it? Quite. It's horrible. Now, if you did this every day, it would take you two minutes. Now, I want you to get stuck in elbow grease. Come on, get working. But the kitchen is not the only hygiene hell. Because the spa bath has never been cleaned, the pipes are full of stagnant water, which is teeming with bacteria, and it's emitting the most putrid stench. So what I'm going to do is take a sample of the water from the pipe Send it to the lab to see what it contains. The effectiveness of elbow grease should never be underestimated. Pleased? I didn't think it was mine. I thought it was somebody else's. Now, I'm going to give the, the finishing touch. This is just soda water, actually. Right. I mean, you could use many things, but it's cheap. Cheap and cheerful. Yes. So we're just going to put a bit of extra sheen on the enamel. Yes. So we'll just spray it, not much, we'll spray a bit on. It just gives it an extra bit of shine. shine. Mm. Do you know there's a very small amount, it's small because we drink soda water, of yes. acid in this, do you know that? No, no. It's a very, very mm -hmm. small amount. But you will see it does buff it beautifully. It does, I can see, yes. I mean, as I say, there's Beautiful. many things you could use, but why not a bit of soda water? It's a change. Yes. It does the job. So we'll go, why go and buy a special cleaner? Well, that's right. Cheap and cheap. Show you something. This is a glass scraper. Oh, yes. especially used for, uh, you know, uh, halogen hobs, glass doors, yes. and it's wonderful. I can scrape ten years dirt off here in two minutes. Well, six years in your case. Right. Now watch. Yes. You see? Look. Oh, it's no good. And it won't yeah. damage at all. It's specially designed for that. Goodness. Now, how, six years are we talking? We, we are talking, yes. aren't we? Six years. Six, seven, something like that. Yes. Oh my God. That's amazing. Let me just shake this somewhere wow. because I'm. 
I'm going to be quite sick. I mean, the next... Now, you see, look, honestly, the rest, I think we'll say, is on the inside. So we're going to take this off and get well, the inside. Of course, if you scratch glass, it, it reduces the heat from better than, doesn't it? Well, it looks awful as well. I mean, you paid a lot for these things. You have mm. to look after them, I think, don't you? Yes. Now, I think I you'll agree that the difference... I'm going to take this off and we'll do the inside, but look at that. I mean, good green. Under these grime piles lurk two stinky sofas. Dirt Shifter Dave and his hot water extractor have really got their work cut out. How are we doing? Well, the house is one big cat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what about the other house you've done? How does this... What category does one come into? Oh, she's she's up on an eight and nine. Really is bad, this baby. Got a special little treat for you here. <laughs> Some vomity bits on there. <laughs> and it goes right through the fabric. Georgina's previous grime crimes are only just coming to light. Even darker secrets lie buried in this house. Oh, Ken! Come and see this! Oh, my God! And Aggie gets to the bottom of the spa bath stench. Georgina has been bathing in her own doo-doo. <laughs> Sin of all sins, a fellow cleaner has let her household hygiene spiral out of control. Eight years of neglect have left Georgina Taylor's home a filthy pit. This is one lady who certainly doesn't take her work home. Time to call in Kim Woodburn and Aggie McKenzie to give Georgina some housework homework. No, you said to me, I'm always losing stuff. Yes, uh-huh. What like? Like earrings, hair clips, right. all that sort of thing, you know. Well, I think we all do that, mm. don't we? I'm going to tell you how you, you never have to lose them again. Right. Vacuum. Yep. Right, my dear. We put over pop sock, full stocking, 10, 15, 20 denier. When you go any higher, you're, getting, you're pushing it a bit. It's a bit too thick. Quite and easy. then over we put with an elastic band, you see? Over she blows. And hopefully we'll find some buried treasure, dear. Yeah. Now, let's watch. I'm going to... Favourite place, down the backs of everything. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, I'm down the backs of sofas. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go here. What? Oh, no. oh, God, look. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at this. What have we got here? Well, well, there well. We turn off the back here. Thanks, I keep got? it if it's well, if it's uh, a lot of money. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. How well, long ago well, did you well. lose that? Hang oh, on. Oh, long time ago. Oh, that's, a, that's nice. I like that. Yeah, nice little button. Oh, well, for a nice coat What's that? Look. And a button, oh, a pretty yes. button. Now, honestly, yeah. and it, it's so wonderful yes. for, for those little butterfly clips on earrings. I'm always losing them. Oh, yes. Contact lenses. Yes. Contact lenses. It's wonderful. It, now you know what to do then, don't you? Yes. Kim's uncovered buried treasure while Aggie's found buried bodies. <gasps> Ken, come and see this. Oh, my God. Ken, what is it? What is it? One, two, three, four, four. dead mice. Four furry mice have lost the will to live under Georgina's years of muck. Georgina, get in here! Oh, dear. Mm. Off to you. Well, don't put them in there. <gasps> no problem. Oh, God, look at them up with their hands! Oh, my God! No problem. There you are. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't even bloody look. Kim and Aggie are reduced to jelly. Next, they'll be demanding danger money. The tests are back from the lab and our bacteria boffin has joined Aggie to talk dirty. We've got three samples here, one from the stainless steel draining board, one from the mouldy cup mm -hmm. and uh, one from an area around the hob, so that's the work surface. Oh, stinky! It's grown wonderful, <laughs> slimy, juicy colonies. You can see them there glistening away. They are coliform bacteria. Now, what exactly um, are coliforms? Well, coliforms are bacteria that colonise the gut of uh, humans animals and birds. Their presence can also uh, indicate uh, more significant pathogens, i.e. germs that cause disease like Salmonella or Campylobacter. Now Salmonella and Campylobacter can get onto a work surface and grow just in the same way mm. as the coliform bacteria. Georgina's kitchen is literally lethal, but you don't need to be a microbiologist to decline a meal here. The spa bath. You've got to tell me what you found in there. Well, in the spa bath, we've got a wonderful microbial soup of bacteria. Oh, was it then? A chunky <laughs> one at that. Can you give us some of the ingredients? Yes, I can. Uh, we've got a, a whole mixture of bacteria. Some come from the environment, but oh, some have come stinks. from the human body. Uh, right. particularly the skin, skin mm -hmm. organisms, and there are many coliform organisms which will have come out of the uh, perianal area around the bottom. Hold on. Are we actually saying 
that Georgina has been bathing in her own doo-doo. Well, yes, yeah, some of those bacteria will get into the water, which is ideal breeding ground for these things to grow. Right, Georgina, we've had the results back from the lab, and the water in this pipework is full of all sorts of unmentionables. You've got hair, you've got skin particles, you've got fecal matter oh, in there. I hadn't realised it was that bad. We've did... got to sort this out, OK? So what I've got here is some dishwasher tablets. Needs to be tablets because the liquid yes. foams up too much. Dissolve it in some hot water. This will flush out the pipe work. Mm -hmm. oh. Dislodge everything from your pipes and really clear out your whole system. So that's kind of really halfway that. there. Oh, it's really bad. And turn the bath on for 10 minutes to swish it all round and dislodge everything. Okay. Can you see all the muck that's been thrown up now? Oh, yes. And the best way to get this out is to actually use a sieve. Can you see how much stuff I'm getting yes. up here? Right, Georgina, you get on with this. Oh, do I have to? Yes. <laughs> sure, Mark. <laughs> Georgina's spa bath isn't the only installation in this house with dirty pipework. Back in the kitchen, Kim turns to cleaning chemistry to blast out Georgina's drains. What I'm going to do is for the drains, right, I'm going to put down half a glass of baking soda. Right. Tip it right down. Yes. We'll get it all down. Then I'm going to put this down the drain as well. This is salt. This is a half a glass of the ordinary household salt. And then yes. I'm going to use a quarter of a glass of just white vinegar, you see. Down it goes. Oh. Now listen to the fizz. Oh, yes. Ideally, we can leave it for about a quarter of an hour. I boiled a kettle. I'm right. going to take the kettle. We're just going to put it down. We wear a mask because you've got salt, you've got baking soda, and you've got vinegar. It's all fumes, isn't it? It is all fumes. Mm. And when they combine together, look at it. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah. But look, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. This, yes. that, the, the three together have combined to make an explosion down here. Yes. And they've cleaned your U-bend and down your pipes. Kim's fizzy froth has left Georgina's U-bend gleaming. Elsewhere, no nook or cranny, no floor or drawer, no gap or flap escapes the Dream Clean team. Georgina, I cannot believe the amount of rubbish that, that we have unearthed from your small house. One person living on your own. It's more than we've ever seen before, isn't it, Kim? It oh. is. It's absolutely disgusting. Now, look. This is, P is just vacuuming, dry vacuuming your little tiny house, my dear. I didn't know they were that bad, but oh, it's all cats. Oh, oh. the cats. Quiet, but... I haven't finished with you yet. <laughs> Shampooing your rugs. There's 19 litres in that bottle. No, no, I am speaking. 40 of those we've taken off your rugs because he's had to do it over and over and over again. And I'm disgusted. That's the bad news. Bad the news. good news is, around the house, we've picked up £120. No. My goodness. Plus a stash of cheques amounting to £130. Say, I so... I'm... Could I'm you look after them? them. <laughs> so, it's a good job we're on. We could have got drunk as skunks tonight. I could, we could have been hanging off anybody's bar, couldn't we, dear? Oh, my goodness. So, should we show you the other good news? Yeah, come on. 24 hours ago, Georgina the cleaner was on permanent strike. All gripes forgotten, Georgina returns to her cosy home. Oh, I didn't know I had, look, I didn't know I had those. That's what, you mean your sofa and chairs? Well, they didn't know that colour for a start. Hang on a minute. It is I, your I... living room. Upstairs, the bathroom is beckoning. With spa bath sparkling. Oh, dear. Clean bath. Compared to what the bath was like before. Well, we don't need to describe what the bath was like before. You can have a long, relaxing Clean spa bath. bath. Yes. Safe in the knowledge that the water will be clean and safe. Yeah. In the bedroom. Georgina is 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 lost for words. Oh, I say. Oh, 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 o
like, oh, wow, my, my goodness. And I thought, hmm. You know, I, I didn't think you'd scrub up so well, actually. Any chance yeah. of you becoming house proud? Well, I am now, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am now, yes. And how long is it going to last, Georgina? Well, I, I'll keep it up, you know, for, you know if, I, if I'm fully in pursuit, I'll keep it up uh, indefinitely now, because you've worked so hard. Indefinitely is a long time. 14 days is even longer in the fight against grime. Kim and Aggie are back to check if Georgina is getting cleaner. Well, Aggie, I've got no hope, you know. Well, I'm a bit doubtful. So, mind you, the window's open, so that's a good it's sign. It's open from when we left to open. That'd be silly. <laughs> Hanging baskets are new. They weren't here before. Yeah, but I'm still, I, I still say I'm not hopeful. Okay. Well, we'll wait and see, Aggie. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah. Hello, Hi, hello, Georgina. Hello, Georgina. How are to? you? Oh, fine, thank you. How are you? Come and see what I've done with the kitchen. Oh, okay. yes. Right. I haven't done to see what's been happening. Yeah. I haven't done. Okay, maybe. Well, it's not as tidy as I'd like to have seen it. I don't know. I don't know. There's a slight pong in this house. Mm. It, we, there wasn't there when we left. Mm. It's a bit no lid it? on the bin, so you've got. No, stuff. that's probably with the bin. That's probably the yeah, bin. Yeah, but you must always yes. have a lid on the bin, lovey. Oh right. Have you not got a lid? You no, no, I have, no. I should. Yeah, I've actually had a new bin. Actually, actually it's not really helping, is it? Hang on, let me have a little look. Have a pong, Aggie. Put your nose in there. Is that it? Thanks. Oh, no, so maybe. No, oh, cool. my God, that's wild in there. Is it? What an earth have you got I don't, in there? Well, I, I can't remember, just oh, has all refuse, I suppose. Look, dear, Cute drink, cats see the doctor <laughs> for everybody's sake and get your nose seen to because it is a stinky day. And you did know we were going to come. Yes, I did, yes. Hardly best behaviour, so, is it? She has shocked me. I'm not as happy as I should have been. Mm. Have yeah. we seen the bathroom? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What condition is oh. the bath in? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Feel that ice. Yes, actually, that's, fairly, no crime that's on fairly good. Well done. It's super. Oh, the oh, yeah, we've got a it. spot. The loo, dear. Okay. Oh my goodness me, it's clean, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now it's let me do this, because I remember. And round here, it feels lovely and smooth. Oh, not the pee pees. And I'll tell you something. I'll tell you. Something. I would wash my hands and face in there. Oh, oh would you? That's um, a, that's a accolade. Okay, let's have a look at Into yeah. the valley of death. Not like no, I don't like the look of the dressing table. But it's not as bad. It's not no, as bad. How are you going to be able to dust that? If it's so full of stuff. I have it, done. I, I kept one side, pick it up and then dust a bit and pick it out <gasps> This is a clean cover, isn't it? Absolutely. Flipping heck, Macy. This smells perfectly fresh and not as a normal bed should. So, Georgina, you've been using the cleaning tips that we showed you last time. Yes. And have you been using those in your job as well, would you say? Oh, well, I use them all the time in my job. I mean, it's just a, like theory to practice. I do the, the, uh, the practice at work, but I don't do the, uh, the practice at home, but I do now. When you're coming from work, do you find it nicer to walk into this house? Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to come home these days oh, rather than say, oh, my smashing. God. Oh, you know, that's lovely. Yes, I'm glad to have a nice clean space around me. Oh. It makes me feel much more happy. Georgina seems to be putting her cleaning theory into practice. But can Heather the tidy twin see any lasting improvement? How are you doing? Come on in. So, Heather, have you been doing the cleaning in Georgina's house? Or no. Has she been doing no, it? no prompting at all. She's been doing it on her own. She's been very good. Do you think she's, she's going to keep it up? Oh, yeah, she'll keep it up, but I'm here to make sure that she keeps it up. We might be back on another yes. surprise visit, so just keep <laughs> It's usually about five in the morning, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> another job done, and the cleaner Georgina has waved goodbye to her dirty past. Yes. We hope. It's nice meeting you. Thank you very much. for you. You're Thank one of us you now. So yes, we don't know. Bye, ladies. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Keep up the good work. Bye. Bye. Keep it up, Bye. girls. Bye. 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 Nice to see you. Take care. Bye. Oh, that was a Bye. tough one, wasn't it, Aggie? You're kidding. Bye. Bye. Take care. I think in six Bye. months' time, I think we should revisit. Oh, yeah. I don't think we're back to, back to what it was for mm. I do, don't you? Mm. I'm not trying to be a mystery, but you've got to face it. Yes. Yeah.